In this tutorial, we'll be looking at My Reports function on the left hand menu. And what you see in My Reports will depend upon your access rights. So we're talking about looking at My Reports from a leadership perspective and getting a whole view about what's actually happening within your organization. So by clicking on My Reports, this is where everything is collated. So first of all, we're just going to click on my monitoring here. And this will be a record of all the monitoring that has taken place in your organization. And you'll be able to filter it accordingly. So just by clicking on here, plus you can see here, I could compare monitoring in an autumn term with a spring term and get the outcomes. So over a period of time, there'll be an awful lot of monitoring taking place. So the idea is having the ability to filter it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to filter here by a particular form. So for example, here, I'm going to choose a form. Click search. And all of a sudden, I've got a record of every time that form has been used. So I can start seeing again an outcome. Now, how you design your form is totally upon you, but the idea is creating the ability for the system to do your hard work about being able to analyze. So some organizations, what they'll have is they'll have a form and what it'll have is a whole load of question comments. And then someone is going to go through and analyze those comments to get an outcome. On the other hand, what you can do is have the ability to create a form that will create data. And what I mean by that is you end up having a particular question and you rate that question. We're not talking about judging a lesson. What we're doing was we're talking about rating it. So you're able to then see from here and by doing that you're able to drill down so for example here looking at progress i can click on here who's got transformational progress and that will be able to tell me here and those will be the people that will be able to use to develop that area and again just by clicking because the idea is to just click one or two times to actually get what we want these people possibly were the ones developing that area. So you're able to signpost members of staff. Everything in here, as in with every other page in the system, has the ability to report. So you can then generate a report based upon that if you choose to. So the next area in here is 360 feedback, which is linked to monitoring coaching form there's also link to it to the monitoring section it's just a type of monitoring form what we're going to concentrate on is the idea of now looking at appraisal objectives so again we get a record of all the appraisal objectives collating everything in the system and if i wanted to as well i can drill it down and i can start looking at my main scale teachers i could start looking at my learning support assistance, leadership, and find out the state of their objectives as well. So again, by looking here, I'm able to see objectives in place, how many are in progress, how many partially met, how many not met. I get an overview here and the date completed. So again, I'm able to generate a report on everything that's taking place regarding objectives between a certain amount of time. I can also do the same with standards. So in the case of this system, it has numerous standards in here. So we have all different types. So what we're able to do is we're able to drill down accordingly so for example here i could choose staff member type and just choose main scale teacher
And then from there, I'm able to look at the standards for main scale teachers across the whole of the school. So from here again, I can look, find out who's actually rated the reviewer rating and the reviewee rating. And I can then, as with all the other pages, generate a report accordingly. So that is the outcome and that enables you to get an overview of exactly what is happening in your organization. So thank you for watching.